Hey, what's going on guys? JTS Wrestling back with another video today. We're going to do uh, part three of the NXT TakeOver uh, Series 4 figures. Um, we did Ruby Riot first, of course. Um, Killing Dane. And now we're going to do Drew McIntyre. I love this one. Holy smokes. Um, now I don't have to go get his Elite 72. So I have this now. So that'll save me some dough. Okay, put them down like this. Um, yeah, and then so, like I said, my least favorite, second least favorite, um, third, and then my favorite. Um, I, I would take him out, but once I take him out, I'll find out more. But as I was saying, the Killing Dane in the box doesn't look that good, but when you turn him on the back and stuff, like the detail and everything back here is like. And the mask, like he's got a lot of detail, uh, detail, sorry. So we'll see if Drew here can top him. Oh, sorry, put that here for a sec. Um, yeah, Drew McIntyre, man. I have loved Drew McIntyre since, oh, I'm trying to forget exactly. It was 2008, 2009 when he was like the chosen one. And he was like Vince McMahon's like little, little project. And he was going to be the next big thing. I mean, he was great, but I'd say he's better now. Like he's not being used, but... Hopefully, well, I just watched Raw last night, um, the premiere episode. He wasn't there, so I'm hoping he's on SmackDown. And, uh, you can see him in the, the title picture for sure. I can, oh, a match between, I'm, I'm sure Brock's going to beat um, Kofi on SmackDown. At least I hope. And then I, I would love to see some Drew and Brock matches. Those would be intense. Okay, after taking his Drew out, it's looking pretty good. His knee pad's a little messed up. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to fix this. Sorry if the packaging was loud when I was taking it out, too. I just realized how loud it was. Uh, okay. Wow, he's tall. Jeez. Big figure. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, so here's the Drew McIntyre. So there's nothing crazy detail. I mean, it's great detail, but it's nothing insane. I haven't looked at the back yet, but good face scan. I believe it's a very similar or the same to the Elite 72, or is his mouth open in that one? I don't remember if he's screaming or not. Got the chest hair. Got the little crosses on the tights there. Nothing on the back, which is real, like the jacket he wears, but it's just not crazy detail. Well, this is pretty detailed, but no colors or anything. Put that down. Put this down. Grab the, the jacket. Um... Well, it's really on there. They got the body perfect though. Like his, the body type is really good, very realistic. This guy is uh, in crazy shape. Remember, like when I was saying, I used to watch him back in the day. He uh, obviously he was always been in good shape, but you know he's just a little slimmer and whatever. Now he's like <laughs> shredded out of his mind. Yeah, and this figure represents that quite well, I must say. Okay, he's got a cool thing on the tights there in the back. So he's got his little detail on the back there, McIntyre, and his little shield, coat of arms or whatever, I believe it is. Yeah, look at the freaking, the muscle definition is really good. He's got all the thighs, the chest, got the big arms. Pretty good. Got the long black hair, got the beard. Pretty good figure, actually. I don't know, I, I think I'm just giving the edge to... Uh, Drew, even though the Killing Dane figure is always better, I just like Drew McIntyre. He's not standing either, but oh, that's tough. Gonna have to give the edge to to Drew, or sorry, Killing Dane. Even though I like Drew better, but just there's so much more detail. But yeah, just this was a quicker review. Nothing crazy with this figure, not as much stuff, just the jacket. But um, yeah, so that was one, two, three, number three, and I'll uh, be doing number four, Mister Black, very very soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.